What's up everybody, Theme Rhino from ThemeRhino.com, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be going over Shopify's new user interface, uh, which is actually pretty cool. Um, from seeing the theme, which this is the theme in the middle, for those who don't know, this is Shopify's customization feature, so if you're new to Shopify, maybe uh, you haven't seen my other videos, um, they have a uh, new feature here, which is um, their little uh, change. To the user interface you can see here you get this little uh, message board that says key keyboard shortcuts uh, shows kind of the undo redo save kind of features um, of course you have undo redo and uh, save on top here on the top right corner if you're not going to be using the keyboard shortcuts and on the left you have kind of the structure of the theme now it's actually structured a little bit differently you could see here there's these um, these sections and they're just uh, kind of visually a little bit different now it doesn't matter what theme you're using uh, for the most part you should see this this uh, bilateral kind of thing where there's on the left side you can customize the sections and then on the right it is the customization of that specific section so here on the left you have all the sections in the in the Shopify theme that are currently exposed so we have for example our um, our product here and here it is uh, themato products right we have our sub description uh, which is description one description two etc and we can add different features to it by clicking on this and then taking it over to the right side and changing things up so this is a little bit different than what we are used to guys um, the, the old user interface was good and we had it for a very very long time I think Shopify is making a lot of changes to their platform we've seen actually more changes in the past year than we've seen in the past four years um, so Shopify is always doing a lot a lot of work uh, to edit things now this video doesn't have to be too long since we are going over it. I just want to make a general tutorial you can add more sections here to your theme depending on how many uh, sh uh, features your Shopify theme has in our case we have a lot of features because we're using Themato or Themato. We could go ahead and use, uh, we'll go ahead and go to Themato.com. I'll leave the affiliate link in the description box down below. Themato is a Shopify theme that uh, is responsible for uh, a one product so a Shopify store. So if you want to sell one product, which I'll make more tutorials in the future, I already, com well, completed about half of the tutorials for the Alphalete Hat uh, store. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, just simply go check my last few videos um, where we kind of go kind of step by step. And what I did was I completed the majority of the design, right? Um, so in the future, I'll be showing how to do the video, how to do all those different features, your your blog sections, things like that. Some stuff are more basic and self-explanatory than others. But of course, I could see for somebody who's never used Shopify before, it could be a little bit hectic, a lot of bit, uh, a lot of information that people need to take in. Um, so all of our tutorials here are for, great for beginners. Even if you're advanced, um, we talk about conversion optimization, things like that. And uh, this is the theme that we use for one pro or that I found for one product stores uh, so they have all the information here you guys could check out their website like I said I'll leave it in the description box down below uh, I will be the first link and you guys know the theme that I like to use for uh, website design just regular regular stores regular themes um, for brands and things like that is uh, wolf so wolf of um, they have two uh, themes right now the main theme is uh, the original in my opinion I mean they don't really tell you which one is the main one but they they sell two. they have alpha wolf and they have wolf the original we've done a ton of videos with the original wolf and we're gonna do a ton more with both themes uh, I really want to get into the alpha wolf theme a little bit more I've been using it it's got a lot of features a lot of different things that you could do with it I mean Probably my guess is the amount of features in this one is probably three times the amount in this one They both look great. They both do great in terms of functionality But I would say there's just a lot more features in alpha, which is probably why it's a little bit more expensive, but um, either way I know different people have different kind of projects they're working on and and these themes all encompass different features uh, so you know we're gonna be talking more about it but this is just a little announcement video if you guys haven't seen uh, uh, Shopify's new um, you know uh, user interface you could check it out like I said there's a left section right section and whatever section you click on that's where you actually do the editing on the right uh, tell let me guys know in the comments if this is 
a type of user interface that you guys like. Uh, do, you, do you see yourself getting comfortable with this? I think it's a little bit more cleaner of a look. It's definitely more, you know, 2022-esque uh, for Shopify as opposed to the old design that they had. So you guys let me know. I'm real curious to hear your guys' opinion. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.